Hi, I'm Claire Fallon. And I'm Emma Gray. We're the hosts of Here to Make Friends, a podcast for anyone who loves or loves to hate the Bachelor franchise. Happy Hannah B. finale day. Wow, that was a truly outstanding finale. Like nothing we've ever seen before. Still really, really riding that Hannah Beast energy. And there were so many prime superlative moments from this two-night, four-hour finale. Extravaganza, if you will. It really was an extravaganza. So we have to start with some moments from night one, actually. Right, I that think. happened. Let's go with most sex-positive parents. Peters, who were just incredibly thrilled to learn that their son can bone four times in one night. In a windmill, no less. I mean. It was actually four times. (laughs) I've never seen parents go so crazy. They just cheering, fist pumping. For something that was not, in fact, their their son scoring a home run in Little League, but was actually their son. Scoring a more metaphorical run. Scoring four home runs, actually, in a windmill. Um, I mean, clearly he has a very supportive home life, and they don't mind hearing about what he gets up to at night. Just a lot of sex positivity there. Exactly. And next we have the most traditional parents. Hannah's parents. Yeah. I mean, Hannah, in many ways, is a modern woman. She talks Mm -hmm. a lot about her independence and her dreams. But her parents, clearly, especially her father, have a vision of her as being in a traditional couple where her husband provides for the family. He shouldn't depend on the woman, and I'm not saying he would, but as the man of our house, I need to know what the man of your house is gonna do. And they made that very clear when they met Jed. He has qualities, but... Oh, yes, they did. They had many feelings on uh, Jed's financial solvency. And I asked him what his accomplishments were up to this point, and he was very proud of uh, the dog food jingle that he did. Yeah, and how he was going to provide for their daughter. Uh, Hannah herself pushed back on this a little bit. Which we loved to see. I am going to be successful, and I'm going to be able to provide for my family, too. But it's clear that she comes from a very traditional background when it comes to marriage. Next, we have the most self-involved proposal. I mean, it's definitely not Tyler, so no. I think it's Jed. After all that you've been through, I'll be a Mr. Brown, <laughs> girl. Marry me. I've never seen a bachelorette proposal turn into uh, the first sort of single drop. We always knew it's me and you. For the guy's album. He's just like, you know what? Two birds, one stone here. Yeah. He got the Bachelorette to applaud for him during his proposal. (laughs) And I'm sure he thought America would be applauding right along and going to iTunes, maybe, and placing some orders. Jed, my God. Have you no (laughs) shame? No, no shame. Next, we have most likely to actually be a character in my favorite fictional rom-com. Tyler. I don't think he's real. He has really reached Noah Centineo into all the boys I loved before levels. This isn't it. I mean, it's almost, I'm almost annoyed that he's not the character in a movie that I could watch over and over again. I can't keep rewatching this season, it's too long. Um, I need my Tyler fix in a more, you know, a neater, a neater, smaller package. You might just have to, um, Satiate that through his Instagram stories. I That's probably what we're will. left with. I mean, Tyler, he's got the looks. He's got the moves. I love the dance. He's got the lines. Women really do run this world, and they deserve so much respect. Can the you whole believe, package. Can you believe he's real? I certainly no. can't. Next, we have the most significant cameo. People Magazine really showing up in a big way. Played a starring role in this episode, um, laid out beautifully on a table while really Hannah zoomed in. confronts Jed about the contents. Uh, without People Magazine, this would have been a very different episode. A very different season. A very different season. Hannah might never have found out about Jed's very, very shady past with his ex-girlfriend, except not his ex-girlfriend 
in his heart because she was never his girlfriend in his heart. Right. I didn't have a girlfriend, though. We just want to be clear. And also not his ex-girlfriend in reality because he never broke up with her. Right. It's It works on many levels. Exactly. Um, most self-described personal growth. Jed, he really seems to think Hannah changed him. He was also changed by having to admit that he had lied a whole bunch. I did so much soul searching when I was there and was able to like learn myself on a, a whole other level. There was just a lot of professed growth on Jed's part, but perhaps not that much yeah. real growth. Jed tells Hannah that he grew into a whole new person on, on her season. He grew into someone one. so far from the man he was when he left who was dating around, enjoying his mythical singlehood. Um, but apparently when he finished the show and went back to Nashville, he, he acted the same, thing. the same way. So, so sort of an illusory personal growth. But we do have some actual personal growth. Most oh, oh. actual personal growth. Our girl, Hannah. I've never seen an arc like this. Neither have I, and it was so satisfying to watch. I have realized that I don't need a husband. I want a husband. I don't need one. She was a different woman at the end of this season than the, the woman we saw walk out of the out of the mansion and meet the men outside of the limos. Like, she articulated that growth in such an eloquent way, too. She really has, you know, a depth of self-awareness. You She's love to see voice. it. You love, you to, love see to see it. it. I'm really confident in who I am now and in being on my own and really taking everything that I've learned and and what I want in a next relationship. And next, the most romantic moment. I mean, usually on this this episode, it would be the proposal, but, but in no. fact, it's Hannah, an empowered woman, asking Tyler out for a drink. You're an incredible guy, and I'm a single girl. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not <laughs> you know, uh, so I don't know. I just thought maybe we could go for a drink and just hang out. Just like a single gal out on the town asking a hot dude to grab a drink with her. So just so we're clear, we're gonna have a go at this. I, I think we need to just like be normal people. Yeah, I Bold, mean, Hannah real, just- raw. Hannah just went through a devastating breakup with a man who was dishonest with her, but now here she is, ready to move on, have some fun with the most beautiful man I've ever seen. I mean, I just really hope for her that they can perhaps release the sexual tension that never got resolved. That's beautiful. That's what I want for her. A wish for yeah. the happy couple. Next we have most likely to be the next Bachelor. So, hmm. Normally I would have said Tyler, but because he seems to be grabbing a drink with Hannah, I think it throws a little bit of a question mark into that. Peter put in a very good show, but as you guys all know, we are still solidly Team Mike. We're Team Mike, and you know, so much could happen based on Bachelor in Paradise. It's they, anyone's game right now. They have three very solid candidates. I think Tyler's still in the running. I think I'm gonna have to give the edge to Peter for likelihood, yeah, but we're still same. pulling for you, Mike. Next we have winner of the season. I mean, isn't it obvious? Hannah <laughs> Brown. Hannah really, I've never, admired someone more at the end of the season. She won our hearts. She she walked away self-possessed. I'm going to say that of usually her own the lead of this show is almost an antagonist at the end. Yeah. Like they're having to defend their relationship. The sympathy is usually all going towards the runner up. Yeah. But Hannah has all of America with her. And one thing for sure, so. Jed did not win the season. No, he did not. Despite what he told all of his friends in Nashville. Sorry, Jed. Toodaloo. You get home, you know who's been waiting, wagging by the door. And that's it for Here to Make Friends Superlatives for Hannah B's season of The Bachelorette. Join us again for more love and snark when we discuss the first week of Bachelor in Paradise. Oh, yeah. And until then, you can listen to Here to Make Friends on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen.